The Daily Mail and the current bun, half naked in the park at a glimpse of the sun. Fortnight of tennis, a football team that always lets us down. Ten pints of piss warm lager and old ladies at the bingo who never frown. Raining at Glastonbury, but an ollie talking shite. Then he running the telethon and comedy with bites. A red telephone box and a double decker bus. Someone's trying to jump the queue, but let's not make a fuss. Margaret and Tony, kits of red and blue. Pick a tribe for your life and we'll have no more out of you. Geoffrey talking cricket and some desert island discs. That awkward look you give your girlfriend at the airport when they stop her for a frisk. Night and a lash, morning fry. Conversations about the weather, a shame to cry. And the Markies and the Binnies and the Johns and the Ish, the Rachels and Sahiras, the Anyas and the Trish, the Christians and the Protestants, the Muslims and the Jews, the Agnostics and the Atheists, the Me's and then the Yous. The ones who tell you lies and the ones who say what you want. The nagging doubt before you sleep and the history you supplant. The ones that say rape your children, the ones that say steal your jobs. The beggar's asking for a quid. And the pinstripe banker knobs. The Armids and the Abdul's. The Declans and the Mikes. The Queen and Diana. The John Cleese and the Spike. The Nigels and the Enochs. The Tony and the Wills. The idea of freedom and justice. The Charles and Alder shoot to kill. The constant and never ending, the short and then the quick, the elf and the happiness, the poverty, the sick, the everything, the nothing, the this and then the that, the skinny and the pretty, the ugly and the fat. The things you'd like to think about and those you'd rather forget, the silly wedding dancing, the grand national bet, the Peters and Ezekiels, the Damiolas and the Brad, the Darren and the Thomas, the good and then the bad, the happiness, the sadness, the open and the fear, the welcome, the open arms, the barbed wire, the get the fuck out of here. The beauty and the eloquence, the bestial and the sly, the place you seem to dream about when under foreign sky. The lover's idiosyncrasy, the cup of builder's tea. The sailing boat catches the tide and washes out to sea. The daily grind, the nine to five, the overfilled tubes, the being alive, the St George's flag, the pug-faced dogs. The regrets, the promises, the olden hands, the snogs. The idiocy, the madness, the sanity, the care, the racism, the patriotism, the love, the help, the fair. An English rose. A burning block. A God-fearing country the shepherd forgot. The beginning and the ending, sometimes truthful, sometimes a lie. The country I was born in, and probably where I'll die. <laughs>